So today I'm going to show you all how to complete the Dealmaker Challenge, which is part of the Redacted Faction mission in Warzone DMZ Season 3. And this one could be quite challenging, there's several parts involved, so let's talk about how to do it as quickly and as easy as possible. Feel free to check out my other Season 3 guides like leveling up the Battle Pass, leveling up weapons, all that kind of stuff. But without further ado, let's get straight into the guide. So the first challenge within the Dealmaker mission is that you need to store an electric drill, a gas can and a golden skull in your backpack at the same time. And this is quite a tricky challenge, so I'll explain how to do it now. So you can either do this on Almazra or Ashika Island, but I recommend Ashika Island just because it's smaller and it's easier to find certain parts and I'll explain why in just a minute. So the first thing we'll talk about is the electric drill. This can be tricky to find, but basically you want to look on shelves in rooms, especially near building sites or rooms in buildings, or they can also be found in toolboxes quite commonly. That's where I found them a lot. It's probably the best place to find them. So ideally go and look at places that relate to where you'd find electric drills. So near destroyed buildings where you're gonna have a bit of building work going on or actual building sites such as on Almazra, they've got a big building site. So places like that that are relevant to the context will actually give you electric drills, or more likely to. But if not, yeah, look in toolboxes, keep looking around all of the blue toolboxes, and eventually you'll find one. Or if not, like I say, it'll be on a shelf. I'll show you where I found mine. It's a bit of random luck, but eventually you will find one. Then the next thing is to find the gas can. And this is incredibly easy. All you need to do is go to any gas station, and inside there will usually be at least one to two gas cans that you can pick up, but they can be found other places too. Not just in gas stations, but that's the place you will always find them they're very easy to get so i wouldn't worry about that it's the electric drill that's a little bit more tricky and then the trickiest item of all is the golden skull which you need to find now this has a value of about twelve thousand dollars so it is quite valuable but there's quite a few ways to find them and we'll talk about that now so the first way that you can find them is in supply drops so i would say that maybe one in three one in four supply drops might have a golden skull in it so keep looking out and every time you see a supply drop on the map it's like that little orange icon and this red smoke when it's dropped down go over to it open it and hopefully there might be a golden skull in it other places you can find them is from doing certain missions for high value containers so for example if you drill open a safe there's quite a lot of them on the map eventually you'll find a golden skull in it so that's quite a good way to do it there's a brand new way to dmz season 3 to get it that not a lot of people know about and that is using the scavenger so the scavenger is a new boss to dmz and killing him will drop a golden skull it's a very reliable method of getting one it's easier to find him on ashika island as the map is smaller he'll be surrounded by a team of armored enemies but if you kill him and his teammates he will drop a golden skull for you. So make sure you have stims, armor, a self revive, ideally a two or three plate vest, and a decent weapon. If you do those things, you can take him out easily. The trickiest thing is just trying to find where he actually is. But if you want help with that, I have made a dedicated guide on how to find and defeat the scavenger. So check that out if you need. But yeah, that's one of the most reliable ways, especially on Ashika Island, because it's a smaller map. You're more likely to come across him, and he's not too difficult to kill. It's just finding him in the first place. You're more likely to find him after about 10 minutes into the game in Ashika Island. So it doesn't take too long, but you just need to pass a bit of time then go look for him find him it'll show up as a red circle on the map like I say, then kill the enemies within that circle and you'll have this golden skull. Now there are other places to find this golden skull. So for example, on Al Masra, there are three playstations on the map and each one of them have an increased chance of a golden skull spawning compared to other areas. Obviously you can find them elsewhere, but this is where you can most commonly find them. So the police stations are found in Al Masra City, Mawaisa Marshlands and Said City. So if you go to any of these places and find a police station, you have an increased chance of finding a golden skull. The other place that you've got a good chance of finding one is the Sawa Hotel, room 302 and 303, which is locked. This hotel hotel building is found in the flooded city so in the bottom area of the map where it's all flooded and for these rooms you'll need a room key or a skeleton key which is new to dmz season 3 basically you can craft a key that will get you into any door so either that key or you need to have found and picked up and stored the sawa hotel room key if you have that then obviously you can pick up the golden skull now the last way we're going to talk about is on Ashika island so in the shipwreck area on Ashika island which is like on the right side of the map there is a hms shipwreck cache underwater so it's like a chest in the ship i think it's on the right if you're looking at the sea and if you have the hms shipwreck cache key you can spawn into dmz with it or you can find it around the map or use a skeleton key this method is 100 percent reliable if you have the key it always spawns in this chest so basically either find the key on the map or spawn in with it go to that location open the chest and you'll have the con skull i'd recommend obviously getting the other two items first but that is a dedicated way to do it pretty easy so it's up to you how you do it but the golden skull is the most difficult part so what would i actually recommend doing to kind of help you get this challenge done faster well i recommend when you spawn in looking for an electric drill if you find one then head to a gas station to get a gas can and then if you have that you can either kill the scavenger or look for a golden skull for example in the shipwreck area on Ashika island this may take a while so 
so have the mission in the back of your mind as a bit of luck may be required. So that's how to find these three items. And the second part of the dealmaker mission is to trade these three items for a secure backpack at a buy station, which is easy once you have the items. So once you have the golden skull, the electric drill and a gas can, head over to the nearest buy station, use the barter tab and look for the secure backpack. Items you have on you will carry over to the next game if you exfil. And then you want to trade those three items for the backpack. So yeah, this backpack is great because you can put items, things you can't normally bring out of the game, things like a well, like golden skull or I don't know, bandages or whatever items you want it from the game you can actually bring them out with this backpack and keep them and bring them into the next game whereas everything else once you exfil it gets converted to cash to help with your insured weapon and that's it no other use for it so this is really useful if you want to bring items from one game to the next such as when you're doing missions so that is how to complete the dealmaker mission for the dmz redacted faction mission in season three if you want to check out my full guide for the redacted faction mission feel free to check it out via the card on screen and link in the description be sure to leave a like so that other people can find the video too and feel free to subscribe by clicking the bell icon to stay up to date with all my latest Modiver 2 and Warzone videos. But thank you so much for watching, hope you found it useful, and I'll see you guys all on the next one.